Hey, it's Spunnik, and welcome back to another redstone video. Today, I'm going to build an AFK fish farm for 1.16. This farm is a little bit different because it relies more on villagers, which will get you all the same books that you can get from AFK fishing and more, and more reliable because you can choose which books you want now. And with just five villagers, you can get almost six stacks of emeralds in just one Minecraft day. And then you can use these to fuel your villager trading hall or something. Or you can just add upon these five and add another villager for every book that you uh, want to have with you. And yes, this farm is not uh, quite as early game as it used to be, but I would argue it's even more powerful than it used to be. And that is because you catch fish... And that is because you catch things just as fast as you used to. But now you catch more fish than you used to. And fish are really what you need to fuel these. And you don't end up with junk books like Protection 3. Who wants Protection 3? And who wants it on like literally every single book that ever comes out of this farm? It used to be a bit of a pain to have to sort through all those books. But now you can just go through villagers and have like a ton of emeralds to just buy whatever you want. So let's go into how to build this farm. So here are the materials you're going to need to build this. You're going to need 10 chests. A uh, fence, it doesn't matter what kind of fence, it needs to be a fence. Uh, iron. Uh, pressure plate. I think gold works too, it has to be one of those ones. Um, iron. Trapdoor. A note block. Nine hoppers. Five redstone dust. One redstone repeater. One comparator. Two observers and a dropper. And another rack. These items are all... Um, optional these six they just make your life a lot easier so if like you don't have quartz yet then you can just skip those and then throw them in there uh once you do have them because they make your life a lot easier also a water bucket and glass and then a fishing rod i recommend putting mending and lure three on this fishing rod as soon as you possibly can and then at least two villagers probably more depending on what kind of books you want um, at least one barrel, I'd recommend like three barrels, and at least one lectern, depending again on how many uh, books you want. Oh, and I almost forgot, for this optional part here, you will also need a sticky piston. So first up, grab your chests, your hoppers, your fence, pressure plate, note block, trap door, and water bucket. We're going to make the 1.13 uh, fish farm, the one that everybody makes. I think DocM77 came up with the original design. Just take uh, two holes like this. Put a hopper in one facing that way, um, and then the fence on no, nope, the fence on top of that. You'll have to shift to put it on. I'm gonna go ahead and dig these two out and put the chests, two chests right there, um, and then waterlog this, and it'll go down just like that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna place your note block right here, your pressure plate right there, and then you need to put another block on top of the note block, and then put your trap door right there. This is the fish farm uh, that everybody builds. Usually um, you add some more chests down here. Usually people put more chests down there and that is why we have more chests. You're just gonna fill all of these in. Let's see one more. I think. Yep. So there we go. You should, uh, that should be all of your chests and that should be about yeah, five of your hoppers. You should still have four hoppers left. We'll use those later. And this is actually a fully functioning fish farm. You just right click right there. Oh, dear. Uh, guess you want to do this as well. It's never happened to me in the past. That's weird. Um, anyway, just right click here and uh, you'll be clicking the note block. If you left a block on top of the note block like I did, this can be like literally any block ever. If you leave that block there, you can remove it if you want, but then it'll make this weird like ticking sound as it plays the notes. Um, but you can just leave it there and then it won't play the notes, you'll just keep right clicking. Um, so you're continuously right clicking, then once you catch a fish, it'll untrigger the pressure plate and the uh, trap door will close and then you'll catch your fish. Now if you're playing on a server, there might be a little bit of lag here uh, and in between this whole uh, event happening. And in that case, what you want to do is just put a few repeaters like this going out this way and then going out this way and then adjust them depending on the lag in the server. It'll take a little bit of trial and error and then you'll have your AFK fish farm. 
If you're not playing on a server, there will be no server lag, uh, theoretically, because it's your own computer, and then you'll be fine. So that is the thing, if you're playing on a server, you will need at least 5 redstone repeaters. Now, because of the way 1.16 decided to break uh, AFK Fish Farms, this will not get you any books, or enchanted fishing rods, or bows, or any of the really cool stuff like name tags that we like to get from AFK Fish Farms. What's gonna happen is it's gonna fill up with a bunch of junk. I don't. I haven't been fishing here, so obviously there's no junk, but if I was fishing in here, it would look kind of like this, full of junk. Yes, we have the fish, these are what we want, but we don't want these bottles, these leather boots, these sticks. We don't want any of this stuff. So this is where they, that optional part that I said came in, and it's going to make your life so much easier. Again, it's not necessary if you don't have quartz yet, but I'd recommend as soon as you get quartz, you add this. So just break one, two, three, four blocks here, and then probably a little room in here to do your thing. Um, you want to shift click your hoppers in like this, so that they're all there. So that they are all okay. This ladder has pro provided more problems than it has fixed. Um, there we go. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to put. I'm gonna take this out a little bit more. We're gonna put a dropper going down this way. Ah, no, no. And then netherrack right here. We're gonna light this netherrack on fire. Technically, magma works as well, a magma block. Or if you have a uh, fire's tick turned off, then you could use literally any block in the game. But if not, then it'll have to be netherrack or magma. I don't know why you use magma though. Another X, way cheaper. Um, anyway, and then we're going to put an observer in here so that it's looking out that way and powering this when it gets powered. Then we're gonna shift click another one on there. So then you wanna take a sticky piston and then put it right there. This is probably the most common uh, redstone clock in the game. It'll just keep powering this. But now we want this to only power this if there's something in this dropper to uh, go out into the fire. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a comparator. So we're just going to put some blocks here. Comparator. This comparator will tell us if there's anything in here. If I put something in here, let's just put sandstone. You saw it lit up for a fraction of a second, then it got dispensed, and now it's empty. So now it's not on anymore. Now I'm going to put a repeater right there. And then we're just going to put our du dust going down to our sticky piston, wherever it is. Does that power it? I don't think that powers it. And then just redstone dust going down to your piston. I know there's probably a more compact way to do this. I don't know what it is. I guess you could put your piston here and use one less redstone. Um, theoretically, that would work. Let's grab uh, some of those, put those in here. So now, while there's blocks or anything in this dropper, uh, this piston will extend, and then as soon as uh, we run out, that will drop down just like that. And now there is, there's nothing powering it, the ticking's gone, there's no more lag being created, but as soon as something else goes in here, now it's even faster. <laughs> because we updated it. One of the weird things about these clocks. But now, now it just dispenses it all into the fire where it gets burned up and uh, we, they're, out of, they're not our problems anymore. And here's why we want to do that. I built the same thing over here with a few more hoppers just so it's farther away and the ticking is quieter. Uh, uh, but it, it's really preference. Anyway, here is our uh, chest that's full. We're standing right here opening this chest we're like oh we don't want any of this useless junk that's in here so just throw out all of these water bottles just press Q maybe we don't want these leather boots we can do the same thing maybe we don't want this if we press control Q it'll throw out the whole stack we don't want these bowls we don't want these fishing rods we don't want this 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 look at that I've never seen this added to any AFK fish farm and I think it's because usually you don't have like quartz and the kind of materials when you first build your AFK fish farm to do this kind of thing and then an AFK fish farm is usually just like 
You use it a, a few times, and then you've got all the books that you need. But now it's not quite like that. We're going to be using this uh, for quite a bit longer. So we just want to be able to throw everything out that we don't need. We definitely do not want to throw out the fish, though. The fish, the fish are why we're doing this. So that is this part of the farm. I would recommend um, encasing this in glass or something so that you don't get eaten by zombies or killed by phantoms while doing this. You do want to have a uh, sky axis though, which can be glass or it can be air, but then phantoms might kill you, so I'd recommend glass. Um, that's probably this way to do it. Uh, usually I build these underground, then I just dig up and then have glass at the top or something like that. Your preference, just make sure you have sky access, make sure that uh, that no phantoms or zombies will kill you while you're AFK here, and then there you go. Just um, right click right here, and then press F3 and T at the same time which reloads your resource packs and then the game thinks that you're still holding right click and you'll be continually holding right click look at that I just caught some what did I get got a salmon nice now for the villagers I'd recommend using uh, solid blocks for these because since 1.15 villagers seem to like glitch through glass it's really weird I don't I don't know why it happens but we do want to make some containment units for our villagers so that they cannot get out now he's a fisherman. Now if we trade with him a few times, we will need a few emeralds or some coal to start him. Um, let's just get some coal. That's a pretty easy material to get, right? If we just trade with him until he uh, upgrades. Upgrade, thank you. Now we've got our first fish trade. It should be cod. It's usually cod. And what do you know, we will have a ton of cod from here because we were AFK'd in here a bunch. So we want to trade these cods in until he at least levels up again, hopefully until he locks a trade. See we've already got quite a few emeralds, nice. And now he will have unlocked his salmon trade which is even better, let me find some salmon to give him. We will get even more from this, oops, that was weird. See, he, he, wants, he wants to buy my salmon. Give him my salmon. He likes salmon even more than uh, cod, but it is easier to get cod. Now we're up to 38 emeralds, and he's just upgraded again. Let's see. Clownfish. The, the Nemos. Now these are actually harder to get. Uh... We also sell an enchanted fishing rod. I don't know if you can ever get mending on these, but that would be helpful. So that makes the next step a lot easier. But anyway, now we're going to sell him our fish. Our clownfish. And he really likes these. He locked out after just about a stack. Or just over a stack. Um, which is probably... Which is actually quite a bit of clownfish, because these are actually pretty hard to get. So you might have to keep... Um, Opening these. I'm actually going to turn on Do Daylight Cycle. Just going to do that so that they can uh, restock their trades. You may have to trade these a few times to get them to upgrade all the way. But, oh, he has just upgraded. And look at this, Puffer Fish. Now, he loves Puffer Fish. And you can actually get quite a few Puffer Fish from this farm. Well, I don't think he'll even sell a whole stack at a time. But, yeah, he'll only sell that many at a time. But look, there's some trading with this one fisherman. Just from stuff I got out of this farm. I am at almost a stack of emeralds. Beautiful. Alright, so now we're gonna uh, go next to him and build our first uh, librarian. Now, librarians are tricky because their trades aren't like all perfectly lined up like the fishermen are. We have no idea. Oh, yeah, I forgot you get a lot of XP from that. Um, we have no idea what kind of books he's gonna trade us. So we have to look. Oh, he didn't give us a, a book that time. So, what we wanna do is something kinda like. Um, let's use some kind of block that's not full to keep him in there. If we break it and then place it again, then he will change his trades. Or maybe he won't. Maybe he'll be annoying. Oops, I punched him. That was a bad idea. Not quite what we want. 
So we'll just keep breaking this until we get what we want. And what we want is mending for our fishing rod. Because you probably don't have mending or lower three on your fishing rod. What we want to do is get mending especially. And then maybe uh, lower three after that. This might take a bit. Villagers are the most frustrating thing in the game. And it might be really tempting to stop and get like protection four if you see it. Oh my goodness. What are the odds? What are <laughs> um Well I wasn't expecting that to happen. But, but like protection four is always the one that's so tempting to me at least because I can never seem to get it on my armor when I enchant it. I love having a villager that sells it, but you need to break in and keep looking for mending. Because this will be it'll be incredibly difficult to get enough fish to trade with this guy. Is he still? No, he has just restocked. Nice. And his trades are even cheaper. And he will keep his trades cheap. He won't jack them up because you're doing so many different tra trades. At least I think that's how it works. I'm not entirely sure. Like I said, villagers are the most annoying thing in the game. But yeah, this will probably take you several Minecraft days to get mending. Or we might get incredibly lucky. Oh, lore 3. And that is one of the ones you want to keep. If you have another villager nearby, lock that one. And then make another one. But until you have those two, do not stop for anything else like protection. I need to uh, put something there so it doesn't escape. Hey, and there we go, we got mending. This is a pretty expensive one, but uh, you'll have plenty of emeralds from this. Just go ahead and buy emeralds, or buy mending, and uh, then put that on your fishing rod. And if you can get lure 3, do that as well. That is the basics of the farm, and then from there you will have tons of emeralds. I would also recommend having more of uh, these fishermen, just because sometimes they uh, take a while to restock. For every uh, new book you want, just add a new villager, break his thing until you get that trade that you're looking for, and uh, then you're good. It's as easy as that. One more thing, I am on the release candidate for 1.16 at the moment. Um, if something changes that makes this farm not work, I won't upload this video, but otherwise it's going to be up on the 23rd. I can't really see why, I'm pretty sure if I uploaded this before uh, my release 1.16 they'd actually do something drastic like remove villager trading altogether just because they hate afk fish farms that much but i love them and i'm going to keep afk fishing until they remove fishing from the game anyway guys thank you so much for watching be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and you thought the video was worth a like that would mean the world to me and if you found it helpful then be sure to give a like because then it'll help other people as well anyway i'll see you all next time god bless